this is Hans once again with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got one from James from Lakeside, California. Thanks again to you for donating this fine noodle. This is Minraku's Udon. It's their uh, Udon Spicy Kimchi Chigai Taste. Sounds interesting. They've got so many different varieties, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. It's not funny. Some people like them, some people don't. But you can get like huge sets of them. You can get like the mega set on Amazon. It's like 15 varieties of it. There's so many varieties of this stuff. It's not even, it, it really is not funny. But, There's our udon, udon schmeg. And then here's our seasoning. I remember a while back somebody asked me, is there an easier way to open up the sachets of uh, seasoning? Scissors. It's really. It's like there's bits of kimchi in there, as you can see. I think you can see. Like that, 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 that. All right, boiling water up to the line. Right there. And we'll push it down a little bit. And this one takes five minutes. Put a this on there, and here we go with the show. So, um, yeah, Tuesday. Not like last Tuesday. Last Tuesday had a lot of twos in it. Holy crap! Two two twenty twenty two at two twenty two and twenty two seconds. Two number twos on two different toilets while eating two different things on a Tuesday. But that's over. That's done. No, wait. That wasn't even last Tuesday. It was the Tuesday before it. So, yeah. I think. No. Yes? Maybe? That would have been the 29th. Yeah, so it is. It is. This whole anti leap leader thing is pretty crazy. I'm not leaping. Oh. Well. Uh, that, that, that should, yeah, that should do it. Said five minutes, so. I think I was yammering about the number two for about 30 seconds, so that should, that should do the trick. Uh, but I never make mistakes on this show. Here, here. Lasers, lasers. Look at the lasers. You can't really see the laser fun, can you? How about now? I'm coated in lasers. Ooh. So, finish my caffeinated beverage. And yeah, I think it's gonna be weird if we're, when we uh, when the whole mask mandate thing is all done. It was kind of funny though because they did mention, you know, there is the possibility that if this gets bad again, we'll have to put masks back on. Oh, dude, my teacher when I went to college, yes, I went to college. Um, he said if you're gonna be a database administrator or a network administrator. Don't give people too many privileges and then start taking them away. Because if you do that, people will flip out. If you don't give them, like, if you keep lean on privileges, then they'll be like, oh, that's just how it is, you know? But if you take tell people to put on masks, they're gonna complain about that. And then when you take them off, they'll be somewhat, I'm just wondering what they're gonna do once the, the masks come off. 
First off, you're gonna have to see a lot of ugly mugs. Oh my God. Oh man. There's this guy walking around wearing a black mask, but of course he was wearing it under his nose. And uh, this guy had like the biggest schnoz you ever seen. I saw him at the store. It's just like, you know, you're really accentuating the size of your nose. I mean, this was like a big honker. This is like Jimmy Durante honker, right? I was like, wow. But yeah, what are they going to complain about? Are they just going to lose their mind? We don't have anything to complain about anymore. Maybe they'll complain about plastic. No, they already complained about plastic bags. They'll probably go back to that. Yeah, we're not supposed... That, that was the weirdest thing about the whole pandemic, too. About the response to it, I would say, was all of a sudden, plastic bags were allowed in stores again. Why? Somebody must have come up with the idea that paper bags transmit germs. I don't know. I really don't know. But it was kind of a good grab for the, the anti-bag population. <laughs> the anti-paper people. But, I don't know. The whole idea behind the plastic bags is so it doesn't hurt animals and this and that. And I'm okay with that, but it's just too lean. If you really want to do something about stuff like that, you need to, like, make laws that say that industry has to use less plastic. Which, of course, people will complain about that. People just complain. What's the deal? Follow the freaking rules, do what you're supposed to, and don't worry about it. It's like the privacy stuff. I'm pretty sure the people that are really worried about privacy aren't doing anything wrong. And the people that are doing stuff wrong that they're going to get busted for, they're, they're just, just, I don't know, I'll just shut up and let these people complain for me. I don't care. I've got nothing to hide. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's, it's like you're going to smell a lot of new smells and everybody's going to get the flu and yeah, it's going to be stupid. It's going to be stupid. It's like when the schools opened, everybody started getting sick again. Do I have COVID? I don't know what it is. No, no, the flu didn't go anywhere. It was great. I, had, I didn't have the flu for like two years, I swear to God. I didn't ever even have a cold. It's because I was wearing a mask. But, you know, what are you going to do? And that was my short little, I don't know what else to talk about. Basically just saying, good God. Good God. Good freaking God. I don't know. My favorite one that I heard today was... Uh, you know, science is just a guess. It's an educated guess. We don't know anything. What is that? Is that carrot? I don't know what this is. Is this fish cake? Is that kimchi? That's got to be kimchi. Nice. Nice hit of spicy. Here's our udon. Let's see how well this hydrated. Pretty well. So I tried one of these the other day and it was um, garlic, garlic chili flavor. And that one wasn't bad. The noodle wasn't so good. I like the noodle in this one better. They're doing a Korean style thing here. It's kind of got that peppery broth, tanginess from kimchi. It's, it's not bad. I would say this is one of the ones that I like better of the Monroku line. Definitely a lot you could do with this one. Like you could put a lot of cheese in there. I can't even think about how much cheese I could put in this. I'm not gonna today though. I'm just, just not, not, not in the mood to like put cheese in here today. All right. Ah. 
that's the thing I don't like about the Minraku ones, is they don't list how many milliliters of water you use in them. And uh, that's a pain, because what I like to do is I would have made that in the pot, and then I would have cut that up, and that's like an extra step I have to do before I get more reviews ready. And it's dirty, and I don't like to put dirty junk on my scanner. That's what I think about that. That's what I think about dirty stuff on my scanner. Do a little bit of the sprouts. Whoops, you get back. Oh, that's hot, hot, hot. Some sprouts. Decent amount of spring onion. They're chintzing out on my spring onion at the store. It's like I'd have to get three bunch or four bunches of them to get the three worth that I used to get before. That's, that really grinds my gears. I really don't care for that. But what do you do? And some pepper flake. I think we're good. Nice bright colors, nice, nice flavor. In the face. Flavor in the face. Whoa. Uh, I don't know. It's all tricky because it wants to fall over. It's the only downside of this new setup is I'm just waiting for this thing to just like crash and burn and knock a bowl of soup off. And that was our little interlude of music while the bowl spins and this is what I just did. I just cut the bowl and then I'll I'll scan it. So thanks for watching as usual. This has been Hans the Ramen Reader wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. I'll be back tomorrow with possibly three more reviews. I got a lot more stuff that I gotta get done, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright, keep it smooth. Sooner. <laughs>